So welcome again to St Mary's and to this service of evening prayer in Lent. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. In the darkness of our sin, you have shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Open our eyes to acknowledge your presence, that freed from the misery of sin and shame, we may grow into your likeness from glory to glory. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Lord Jesus, think on me and purge away my sin. From earth-born passions set me free and make me pure within. Lord Jesus, think on me with many a care oppressed. Let me thy loving servant be and taste thy promised rest. Lord Jesus, think on me nor let me go astray. Through darkness and perplexity, point thou the heavenly way. Lord Jesus, think on me, that when the flood is past, I may the eternal brightness see, and share thy joy at last. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. So this evening's psalm is Psalm 61. Hear my crying, O God, and listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you with fainting heart, O set me on the rock that is higher than I. For you are my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me dwell in your tent forever and take refuge under the cover of your wings. For you, O God, will hear my vows and will grant the request of those who fear your name. You will add length of days to the life of the king and his years may endure throughout all generations. May he sit enthroned before God forever. May steadfast love and truth watch over him. So will I always sing praise to your name and day by day fulfill my vows. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The first of this evening's readings is taken from Jeremiah chapter 11, beginning at verse 18. It was the Lord who made it known to me, and I knew that you showed me their evil deeds. But I was like a gentle lamb that was led to the slaughter. I did not know it was against me that they devised these schemes, saying, Let us destroy the tree with its fruit. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will no longer be remembered. But you, O Lord of hosts, who judge righteously, who try the heart and the mind, let me see your retribution upon them, for to you I have committed my cause. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the people of Anathoth, who seek your life and say, You shall not prophesy in the name of the Lord, or you will die by our hand. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, I am going to punish them. The young men shall die by the sword, their sons and their daughters shall die by famine, and not even a remnant shall be left for them. For I will bring disaster upon the people of Anathoth, the year of their punishment. You will be in the right, O Lord, when I lay charges against you. But let me put my case to you. Why does the way of the guilty prosper? Why do all who are treacherous thrive? You plant them and they take root. They grow and bring forth fruit. You are near in their mouths, yet far from their hearts. But you, O Lord, you know me. You see me and you test my heart. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter and set them apart for the day of slaughter. How long will the land mourn, the grass of every field wither? For the wickedness of those who live in it, the animals and the birds are swept away, and because people said he is blind to our ways. If you have raced with the foot runners and they have wearied you, how will you then compete with horses? 
And if in a safe land you fall down, how will you fare in the thickets of the Jordan? For even your kinsfolk and your own family, even they have dealt treacherously with you. They are in full cry after you, so do not believe them, though they speak friendly words to you. I have forsaken my house, I have abandoned my heritage. I have given the beloved of my heart into the hands of her enemies. My heritage has become to me like a lion in the forest. She has lifted up her voice against me. Is the hyena greedy for my heritage at my command? Are the birds of prey all around her? Go assemble all the wild animals and bring them to devour her. Many shepherds have destroyed my vineyard. They have trampled down my portion. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. Our second reading is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 7, beginning at verse 53. Then each of them went home, while Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning he came again to the temple. All the people came to him and he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery. and Making her stand before all of them, they said to him, Teacher, this woman has been caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law of Moses, it commanded us to stone such a woman. What do you say? They said this to test him so that they might have some charge to bring against him. But Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. When they kept on questioning, he straightened up and said to them, Let anyone who is among you who is without sin be the first one to throw a stone at her. And once again he bent down and wrote on the ground. When they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders, and Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, sir. Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go on your way, but do not sin again. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So let us pray to God who alone makes us dwell in safety. We pray for all who are affected by coronavirus, through illness or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policies, that they may make wise decisions. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For doctors, nurses and medical researchers, that through their skill and insights, many will be restored to health. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know your comfort and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We commend ourselves and for all whom we pray 
to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made, and you forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>